to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning everybody How's everybody doing this fine morning? We are doing pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Looks like almost uh, really light clouds over there. Like they are cloudy, but it doesn't look like snow. So that's always a bonus for us. And we are just about ready to head out of here, out of this rest area. I think we've been here long enough now, so let's get out of here. Here we are cruising along. Interstate 69 eastbound. We are in uh, Flint, Michigan. That's right, Flint, Michigan. We have 65 miles to go to our delivery. That's right, 65 miles. Just a little bit more than an hour worth of driving, and we will be at our delivery place. Should be there at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, 9 o'clock Central Time. Then we'll try and get our load off and see what kind of reload we can get. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna have to fuel pretty soon after I uh, deliver this load too. I'm starting to run low on fuel. I got less than a quarter of a tank of fuel right now. Yeah, I mean, I could probably run another three hours or maybe four hours, but that's about the max I could do, probably. I done terrible on fuel mileage on this trip. Coming across that Highway 17 is terrible with a maxed out load. And all them hills to climb and stuff like that, you know. Driving in all them snow that I did there for the last couple of days. So I haven't been doing really good on fuel mileage. Matter of fact, the last tank I fueled up, I only did a little better than five miles per gallon. That's terrible. I can't make any money like that, you know. Anyways, we'll see what kind of reload we will get. Hopefully we can get a nice light load some good miles yeah that would be awesome but we'll see what happens already guys here we are in Port Huron Michigan yeah we are very close to the paper mill where we're supposed to deliver this paper at <coughs> When I come down I, from the interstate, I think I could see the company because it says Domtor on it. That's usually where we deliver it to. So I am pretty certain I've been there before. Yes, sorry, Bob. I am pretty sure we just got to go up here to Washington and I'll go all the way to the end of Washington. I'm pretty sure I've been down there before. But anyways, we'll go in there and in a see if we can find it. Right on Washington Avenue, and there, approaching destination. In 700 yeah. feet. Got two more blocks In 900 to go. feet, turn right on Washington Avenue, and there, approaching destination. Yeah, it looks like in I can see it over feet. there. Uh, this next street here, that's where we gotta go in. Let's see if we can make it. Yeah, this looks very familiar. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that I was in here before. Yeah, let's go check it out and see if we can find our delivery place. Approaching destination in 600 feet. Alright, well, let's see. I think I've been here before. I know I've been in Port Huron before with a load like this, but it's been a load time ago yeah I think we got to go like that into security yeah that you looks have arrived exactly at your destination. right 1500 yep. to 1599 Washington sure Avenue. I've been here before well, let's just hope for a quick 
and easy unloading. Yeah, that's right. This is where we gotta go check in with security up here. So we'll see you guys a little bit later. Well, guys, we have made our delivery. Now we're gonna go over to the pilot. Seven miles away from here. In one mile. Turn left on by 69. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go take me a shower. Much needed shower. Way overdue shower. <laughs> yeah, looks like they have gotten some snow up here as well. But it's not really that cold, actually. The snow is melting right now. So if it uh, continues being warm like this all day long or even get warmer, it, the snow might be gone by the end of the day. That's possible. Or maybe in a couple of days it'll be gone. Well, we gotta go up to this I-69. Yeah! Luckily the truck stop is really close by. Seven miles is not bad at all. It's very, very true. That's not bad at all. Sometimes you gotta go half an hour out of your way just to try and find the truck stop, you know? Where you can go park at. I think there is a truck stop closer by even, but I want to go get me a free shower. That's the goal anyways. At the pilot I know I can go get me a free shower. It says the left lane is closed up here, but I don't see it. <laughs> and people were throwing snowballs at each other. <laughs> That's funny. That's good though at the same time. Ah, yeah, I think I've been at this one here before. I pulled in here one time, I think I was going to stay here and that didn't work so well for me. <laughs> yeah. We got to go up here going west. We got to make our turn right up here. Just over this overpass. This is I-69. In 600 feet, turn left on I-69. That's right, I-69. That's where we want to go. Here we go. Alright, we do have the yellow arrow blinking, so that means we can go. So, let's just go over there and see if we can get a shower done and then uh, hopefully dispatch will decide to give me a load after that. So far I have no load offer yet. To the right on, by 69 West, 94 West. Well, I guess In we gotta be... miles, take the entrance to the right on, by 69 West, 94 West. I guess we gotta be in the right lane in order to get onto the interstate. Usually it's the left lane. <laughs> Today it's the right lane. Well, I guess it's just to go back on onto another street or something. So, here we go. Let's make our way over there to the pilot and then we'll see you guys later. Alrighty guys, we have gotten ourselves a reload supposedly out of Bay City, Michigan. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah, put the nine. hammer down and the try and make it the down the direction. West. That's right. We are gonna try and make it over there before 3 o'clock. The entrance to the left on by 69 West. He said they load till 3.30, so I gotta be there by 3 o'clock to get loaded. So uh, we'll hurry up and go. Oh no, this light had to change on me. Oh well, i just put the hammer down that direction and get loaded. And that load will take us into Ontario. I already looked it up there, it's just past the Windsor, Ontario border. So we'll have to go ahead and cross over there, but at least we get ourselves a load. Come on you four-wheeler, let's go. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I need to go. It's about a two-hour drive. So and it's one o'clock Eastern time right now, so we got uh, Exactly two hours to get there. So let's hurry up and go. Well, guys, it looks like we might not get loaded today. I had a bad traffic jam here a little bit ago, and uh, 
It delayed me probably about 25 minutes in my travel to try and get to my pickup location. They said they closed at 3.30 and I'll only be rolling in there at 3.27. At least that's what the GPS says right now. We're like 12 miles away and it's like 13 after uh, 3 already, you know. So I am doubting if we will get loaded today. I am very much so doubting that. But nothing I can do about it. I didn't get the load off her until when I got it. I was in the truck, ready to go. All I did is put it in gear and went. Not in my control of the traffic, so. We'll see, maybe these guys will be nice enough to load me today. And if not, well, just gonna spend the night over there. That's all we can do. Really, I mean, that's all we can do. But I did speak to a local driver up here. And he says there's a little tiny weenie truck stop right there at the same exit that I get off of to uh, go to this company. So uh, said if I have to, I can stay over there. So at least I might have a restroom I can use. Since I did have a shower this morning, we're good to go. We're good to go. That's right. Only problem I have is I'm sort of low on fuel. I kind of need fuel. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, I guess we'll have to get that tomorrow. Anyways, we'll see if we can make it. And see if we'll be uh, kind enough to load us today. If they are, well, my hat goes off to them for staying a little longer to get me loaded. Alrighty guys, unfortunately we were not able to get loaded today. I was over there at the company and uh, they said, nah, your appointment is only set for tomorrow. So I had to go back. The, luckily there was a truck stop like half a mile or a quarter of a mile down the road from here. So I went back over there and here we are. Now we got to wait till tomorrow. Hopefully we can get loaded right away. I asked them, although what time they open dispatch told me nine o'clock they only open and these guys said they open at 7 30 so i'm gonna go over there at 7 30 and i'm gonna go see what they uh, tell me if they're gonna load me then anyways that's about all we got for today then i've been watching some netflix here and got lots of internet right so i've been watching some netflix and uh that's about all we're going to be doing today. So anyways, we'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is going to come.